Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. This is Ski Mask Duets bringing you another fire video this week. And today we're going to talk about the worst gym mistakes that you can make, not just as a beginner, intermediate, advanced, doesn't matter. You might be making one or more of these mistakes, who knows? But I want to bring some light to these so that you don't repeat them in the gym or on your fitness journey. Because honestly, the more you know, the better off you're going to be in the long run. These things are all very important to know. And they're things that I personally wish I knew from the first day I stepped into the gym and started working out. So get ready for this list. Let's get started with number one, which is using too much weight, aka ego lifting. God, I feel bad for anyone that gets trapped into this because who cares if people are looking at you who cares if you have to use a light weight do not be embarrassed do not be ashamed do not fear for the lord your god is with you <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, don't don't worry. I used to be so intimidated like dang bro I don't want to be seen benching less than a plate. It looks really bad I don't want people to think I'm weak. Who cares, bro? I promise you nobody's watching Honestly, most people in the gym are worried that other people are watching them too So put your earbuds in or whatever and just be in your own tunnel vision like those horses that have those blinds for the races So they can't see the competition. That's how you need to be who cares about the weight You're in there to make progress and the only way you're gonna eventually be moving that heavy weight is if you lower the ego Humble yourself and start with the small weight my brother. Please do not make the same mistake mistake I made. Don't ego lift. That's how you wreck yourself. That's how you have bad form. Honestly, if you're trying to move heavyweight and have bad form, people are going to make fun of you for real then, as opposed to if you're doing a clean reps with a very light weight. So don't raise the weight just to please others. Don't do that. Number two, not warming up for the love of God. Please warm up, bro. Don't be the guy that just throws a plate on the freaking bar and immediately starts trying to rep it. Don't do that. You need to warm up your joints and tendons and ligaments, bro. If your muscle can move the weight, that's fine. But if you don't want to have freaking nitrogen gas popping every time you extend your arms and knees and every every joint in your body's popping you need to start warming up warm up properly walk on the treadmill do some dynamic stretching even me to this day if i'm gonna work up to a heavy set i always start for example with the bench with the bar and then 25s and then a plate i always do warm-up sets get the blood flowing bro this is how you're gonna not wreck yourself please for the love of god it might not hurt now but not warming up will catch up to you i promise you three is not prioritizing form over the weight again similar to tip one you need to master your form before you try to increase weight on exercise. Just because it feels good, you might think, you know, you're doing it right. Bro, if you're chicken winging your weight on the bench or you're just doing some weird, your knees are caving in on the squat, you should not be raising the weight. You should be mastering the form that you're doing at a lower weight before you even try to move up. Because if you have good form, you will not get injured in the long run. But if you try to progress and get heavier weight with bad form, you are just waiting to board the plane that's gonna drop you off in Snap City. If you don't wanna arrive in Snap City, don't even buy the ticket there, okay? And how do you do that? Form over weight always. Number four is not tracking your progress. Pretty much, I really wish I started doing this from the beginning. This is a big one. You need to keep track of what weight you're using for what exercise and how many reps you're doing it for every week. You know, this is going to help you because it'll allow you to very easily implement progressive overload. And that's how you keep track of your progress so you can gradually and slowly get stronger and put on muscle and make real progress, quantified progress in the gym. That's how you do it. So take progress pictures. Even if you're insecure, I know it's fine. Just keep it for yourself. You don't have to look at it. One day when you hit your goals, you're going to be like, dang, I really wish I kept track of my numbers or I had a video of me benching five pounds or I had a video of when I was fat. Take as many pictures as you can. Even if you don't feel good about yourself now, one day you will. And you're going to be so glad that you were keeping track. Trust me, track your progress. And then one day you're going to be happy you did. Trust me on that. Number five is doing too much too soon. Oh my God. This is a very big beginner mistake. I can't tell you how many times people have like all of a sudden New Year's resolution, for example, like it's day one in the gym. I'm doing an eight hour rich piano arm workout. No, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that much volume? I don't even do that much. And I've been lifting for years, bro. You don't start out with the amount you want to be doing in the end. You got to take baby steps. You got to give your muscles a chance to grow and adapt. You know, people that hit me up and they go, hey, Ski, I, I went to the gym for the first time yesterday. I was there for three hours and I can't fully extend my arm now. I did 50 sets of curls. And I'm like, bro, do you know what? That's excessive soreness to where you can't even lock your arm out because it feels like the freaking bicep is going to snap. You shouldn't be doing that much. You don't do that much right off the start. If you want to learn how to run a marathon, you do not run 12 miles your first day. You don't do that. You start with a mile, then you get to two, then three, then you're running eight, then you're running 16, and then you're doing a marathon. Okay. And that's a long period. You got to work up to it. So do not try to do too intense of a workout, too much volume of a workout, too long in the gym, too many sets, too much weight. Like don't go overboard when you're first starting out. Your first couple of months you should be focusing on form right progressive overload eating enough just going consistently to the gym just doing a decent amount of sets every time you go but not overkill you know you should just be working on making it part of your life and routine tip six neglecting recovery 
I get it, bro. You got to grind hard and even grind in your sleep, but that's wrong. Like you need to have a recovery system that allows your muscles to relax and recover just as hard as you train. You cannot always train extremely hard and think you're going to come in the gym and PR off three hours of sleep and a thousand calories. You need to be make sure you're eating enough. You need to make sure you're de-stressing enough. You need to make sure you're stretching. You need to make sure you're doing low intensity cardio, going on walks sometimes to flush the lactic acid out of the muscles. You got to do a lot for recovery. It's not just a lot for working out. You should also be recovering just as hard. Tip number seven, comparing yourself to other people. Damn, this one hits, you know, this one hits close to home so hard because I used to do that. And it's inevitable. We as humans, we always compare ourselves to people and it sucks because you never get the chance to compare yourself to the only person that matters, which is you. You should only be comparing yourself to who you were the day before, the week before, the month before. As long as you're progressing, you're on your own road. You're on your own path. It doesn't matter if this kid is 14 and shredded, right? And he's freaking jacked as hell. Like genetics play a big role and some people are just gifted. Just stop comparing yourself to the best of the best right and it's not even supposed to be a black pill concept look at it in a white pill light which is you're happy that the only person you need to compete with is yourself and you're constantly working every day you know what's coming to create the best version of yourself to give to the world damn it that's what i say in every video that's the reason bro so it's not just a catchphrase it's not just a slogan joe rogan all right you need to stop comparing yourself to people. Trust me, it's going to make you feel so much more positive mental energy. And you're not going to be upset when you hit a PR of 225. And then you go on Instagram and you see that freaking Instagram model, the same age and weight as you. And he hit a PR of 315. And now you're not happy with your progress. Yeah, you need to be better than him. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. No. Okay. Stop comparing yourself, please. Tip number eight, kind of similar to number seven, setting unrealistic expectations. If it's your first year in the gym, please stop expecting to bench 315. Don't expect to get shredded on your first cut. Don't expect to run a six minute mile your first time doing it. Set realistic expectations. Obviously shoot for the moon and you land on the stars. Sure. Yes. For long-term goals. Don't be afraid, but just understand the physical processes and the way things work and how much the average time is to get this amount of muscle. Like what's a good rate of fat loss? Like familiarize yourself with standard rates so as long as you're within that range you're making slow and steady progress and you never fall off you'll get to your goal it just might take a little longer than you wanted to and that's fine who cares you know why because the patient man is always richer than the impatient man because the patient man can always afford to wait <laughs> drop the mic confetti and the celebration bro that's how it is you know we out here bro set more realistic more achievable goals last but not least tip number nine is skipping the gym altogether because a lot of people think oh, i only have like 30 minutes for a workout God, I just won't go today. Honestly, even if you go in there for that short of time and it's a small workout, it's better than no workout. Anything is better than nothing. Trust me, unless it's a rest day and you're supposed to be recovering, don't have an end all be all, like all or nothing mindset where it's like, oh, I messed up one meal today. So I'm going to just binge the rest of the day. I don't have time to work out today. So I'm just going to completely miss the workout instead of doing push ups in my free time. Don't completely skip the gym altogether. Anything is better than nothing. So to recap these nine worst gym mistakes, guys. Number one, using too much weight, okay? Don't worry about people looking at you. Your health is way more important. Who cares? I promise you nobody cares as much as you think they do. Two is not warming up. For the love of God, please warm up. Your body will thank you for it in a few years. Three, prioritize form over weight, okay? Not weight over form. You should make sure your form is impeccable and impregnable and immaculate and perfect before you even move up in weight, okay? Four is not tracking progress. Keep track of the weights you use, for what exercise, and for how many sets you did. Take progress pictures. Take all that stuff. You will be so happy you did in the future. Five, don't try to do too much to too soon don't do an eight hour arm workout your first day in the gym take it day by day progressive overload okay six is neglecting recovery you need to recover just as hard as you train you have to that's the only way to make consistent progress and not get injured seven comparing yourself to others r.i.p gg well played bro please don't do that get back in queue and stop comparing yourself to people only compare yourself to who you were the day before eight is setting unrealistic expectations don't expect to bench 315 for example within your first month in the gym okay set smart goals set realistic goals and then you'll be much happier in the long run and tip nine don't skip the gym altogether even if you only have 5 10 20 minutes it's better than nothing so with that being said i hope you guys learned something from these nine gym mistakes that a lot of people make all right comment down below if you have any others that bug you right like not re-racking weights or whatever you know whatever you want to put in the comment section below comment if any of these inspired you or you know maybe you if you were making any of these mistakes let me know too no shame in that we're honest on this channel so with that being said this is ski mass duets signing out let's create the best version of ourselves to give to the world all right peace